All right, hello there. Welcome back to another wee bit different video. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a uh, bracket fight. It's gonna be best shonen villain bracket fight. And I'm gonna be blunt with you guys. I skimmed through it just to make sure I knew every character. I do not. There are some characters that I don't know for some shows. So I apologize for that. Um, also, it is an opinion based video, two and three. There are characters that I will know that I just don't remember their names. I apologize. Uh, I'm, I'm really bad at remembering names. If you see my last bracket fight video, um, Edward Elric, uh, the guy from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I didn't know if he was. I was saying, oh, is he Ed or is he Elric? I feel like it's one of the two. Well, it's both. He's Edward Elric. So, apologize in advance for not knowing the names or for messing up some names. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's just get right into it. As you can see right here, we are in matchup mode. I'll be blunt here. I don't know who this guy is. So, by default, Stain's gonna win, plus Stain I enjoy very much as a villain, so he would take the, he would take the cake anyway. I'm pretty sure this guy's from One Piece, and I'm pretty sure this person's from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure based off of, um, based off of art style, but I don't know either, so let's just pick the guy from One Piece because One Piece is a really popular show. Okay, so we got the guy from Hunter x Hunter, and I believe this is uh, Full Metal. Regardless, this guy from Hunter x Hunter, he's actually a pretty solid villain. He seems like intimidating more often than not. Again, I don't remember names. This this particular matchup, I don't really remember names. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen Hunter x Hunter. To give you guys an idea, I'm 22 years old, and I watched the show when I was like a sophomore in high school, so it's been like six years. So naturally, I'm not gonna remember names from shows I've seen that long ago. The guy on the left, I have no idea where he's from. The guy on the right is from Full Meadow, so we will naturally just take this guy. Uh, then we got Cell, and I believe this character is from One Piece. I could be wrong, but Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite animes of all time. And Cell, I just I I don't really have a lot of more iconic moments than uh, the blast he had against Gohan, how they were both doing a Kamehameha. And go on going Super Saiyan 2 doing Father Son Kamehameha to you know win that battle, but Cell from the Android Saga to the Cell Saga and doing the Cell Tournament, like he was just amazing through and through. Um, especially in the beginning, to where there was a lot of just like mystery behind him and how how he got there, and and then again when you found that all out, he was just so strong. And Cell was a really really good villain. Definitely gonna take the cake on that one. So we got the the guy from the Chimera Chimera Ant arc. I believe it's Chimera Ant, but Chi Chimera. I'm gonna leave it at that. We got a guy from the Chimera arc in Hunter Hunter, and then we got the guy from My Hero. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of this guy from My Hero. I think he's kind of a half-assed villain, uh, and this villain actually is pretty interesting. Strong out the ass. Uh, but interesting nonetheless, so, boom. Then, uh, okay, so this guy's from Fairy Tale for sure. This guy's from Hunter x Hunter. Anyway, what I was saying was, this guy's from Hunter x Hunter, this guy's from Fairy Tale. My cousin is, a, is like, this was his favorite character from the show. I really forgot his name. Again, it's been six years, but he was a really solid villain. Definitely was a weirdo. Uh, I'm going to play a clip. If I can't escape, I'll go forward! <sighs> go, go. That's good. You're so very good. Those eyes, that look, that spirit. <sighs> I just can't wait to break you. Okay, hopefully I played the clip. If I didn't, damn it. But it's, yeah, as you can see, he's really weird. Uh, but as a villain, he does, he does his job and relatively well. So here, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who this character is. This character, I believe, is from Jotaro's Bizarre Adventure, or Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Jotaro's a specific character, but Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, I believe it's, um, 
from part five oh, i want to say this is from part five i could be wrong if i remember i don't want to get spoilers so I, I won't speak on it but i'm pretty sure i know who this is anyway i'll just pick him by default because i don't know who that is and then continuing with the side stain versus this guy who i said for the beginning i didn't know who it is but stain is amazing already so stain's gonna advance uh i this is a good one so the guy from full metal this guy i mean we always knew he was strong but i feel like this guy was more intimidating so i'm gonna go with him because as a villain being intimidating is a big, i'm gonna go with so so again sorry that i'm bad with names but this character as strong as he was the reason why he's interesting to me is he would kill everyone for any little thing but then this girl who he's playing chess with he can't beat and he finds her interesting and keeps her alive and it's it's so we i believe it was chess maybe it was a different game but probably was a different game but my point is that it was like a little it was a board game similar to chess i would say i don't not so much the rules but square pieces on each side but Cell, again, Cell was just so, so cool. And then going down, by default. Okay, I'm going to actually look up his name because it's going to bother me if I don't know his name. Hunter. Uh, what's your name? Hisoka. There you go. Yeah, that, that would have annoyed the balls out of me if I didn't get it right, so... And this guy's Crollo Lucifer. So, I mean, hey, now we know both their names. But yeah, we're gonna go with Hisoka. Because we, okay, so we're gonna go with Stain. And my reason being is I am a huge fan of the concept of Stain that he is a hero killer because there are so many fake heroes. And I think that's kind of cool because in real life, there are people who act like they're good people there are people who present themselves in a not necessarily a heroic way but in a great light like i'm this i'm that but then there's some really messed up shit about them that you know was not cool granted there's a lot of messed up shit about a lot of people but stain is all about just killing the fakes like the people who are absolutely full of shit personally i know a lot of people i i've met a lot of people in my life who are full of shit. I think it's something that everyone can relate to, to where you just look at someone and you're just like, dude, what, what the, like, what the hell? What is this guy on? He's, this is not, this is not who you are. So obviously Stain's very extreme, very extreme. I wouldn't take it that far, but there's definitely a lot of, a lot of fakes in the world and even fake heroes. Uh, but yeah, Stain's gonna take it. And then we got Cell versus Hisoka. So again, I I just I just don't I don't see anyone competing with Cell because for a good what I don't know how long the Android Saga and then the Cell Saga was. It felt like a long time, but him for that first half just being a mystery and having so many questions and coming out of nowhere and then completely taking over and forcing Gohan into a Super Saiyan two. It was just the Cell the Cell tournament hit me so strong to where he's gonna or orchestrate this whole tournament just to fight goku like it was it was fantastic it was awesome sorry hisuka cell is gonna take it from here and then stain and cell as much as i enjoy stain stain unfortunately was like a was like a five six episode stint cell was not so naturally we gotta just go with cell and then unfortunately this is a part of video where you can't use matchup mode on the right side which i think is so stupid and wait i picked cell right oh you can okay let's go okay so this is one of the seven deadly sins i believe from from full metal and this chick is i think her name's anna or Anne. and she's from my and she, not my hero she's from um attack on titan we're gonna go with her uh the, I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone, but we're just going to go with her because she's a solid, solid villain. Then we got, I don't know where this guy's from, but it looks like the art style of Bungo Stray Dogs. I could be entirely wrong. I probably am wrong. And this guy's Zara from Fairy Tale. Zara's amazing for so many different reasons we'll get into as the list goes on. 
got this guy from attack on titan and we got pain now typically i would say attack on titan villains are so so amazing but pain is one of the one of the handful of naruto villains who are just like godlike and i do i do like a lot of it is because of plot too of why this villain is so good but pain is just a badass like in so so many ways i don't know who this person is but we got kid boo kid boo is gonna take the cake and then we got okay so this is probably gonna be one of the most the best matchup in round one period because you got deal who's one of the most iconic shonen show uh shonen villains and you got frieza who's probably the most iconic that i can think of off the top of my head in terms of villains and there's a lot of people who would heavily argue this person and there's a lot of people who would heavily argue this person so i don't think there's one thing i don't think there's a um a choice here that i could pick that would be too much of a hot take because it is well known that both of these characters are like the cream of the crop in terms of most beloved sh uh, shonen anime villains so with that being said i'm just gonna go with what i enjoy the most and yeah deal's a cool villain but frieza is the number one villain in all of dragon ball z um not dragon ball z but the dragon ball series like he is the goku's rival obviously what they did in dragon ball z and then they brought him back in super and then in super like he came and then he went and then he's back again but he's just iconic the most iconic for sure so we're gonna go with frieza then we got uh obito versus I, I don't know who that is but we're gonna go with obito obito's a savage for sure no doubt <sighs> this is tough so you got all for one on the right on the left you got acnolokia from fairy tale and listen I know there's some people who are gonna be really upset about what I pick here because for one, one for all is great. No doubt about it in my mind, especially um, if you're watching like the new season of My Hero, like everything that's leading up to, you know, this, this battle of all for one and one for all, all for one and one for all. Uh, and then, you know, fairy tale, Acnologia being the strongest of all dragons the biggest of deals uh, it's just it's amazing so with that being said i'm gonna go with what i enjoyed more and granted fairy tale the first series has ended it's over so we got to see how this ended um one for all unless you're reading the manga i don't know i'm not updated with the manga so i couldn't tell you how it's going but i'm gonna keep it at acnologia for now just because uh, again the sheer power and the devastation that he has caused to so many people is is insane but it is it's close it's tough okay so we got this guy on the right who i don't know who it is and we got madara on the left who madara is just amazing awesome we'll get into it more as, as the, the list goes on so then we got this again i don't know her name i believe it's ann annie anna something with a and n i believe could be so wrong let's just look it up that way people don't flip out on me if I, <laughs> if I don't know what I was Annie all right that's her right yep it's Annie okay well that settles that <laughs> so we got Annie and Zareph uh Zareph for sure for me takes the cake Zareph uh debuted early in uh relatively early in well, it was talked about in the very beginning of fairy tale then we finally saw him in the like the island arc i don't know what i don't know what the arc's called but when they're on the island uh tenro island or i don't know something like that and then as you know the series goes on zareph remains the the main person the main villain the main um op so i gotta go zareph just because zareph's responsible pretty much for everything that unfolded uh so we're gonna go with zareph then we got Kid Boo and Pain. Uh, this one's really hard, but we're actually gonna go with Pain here. And the reason I mean is because Pain can talk, Kid Boo can't. Um, if it was all Boos, that would be different, but it's only Kid Boo, and Kid Boo didn't have as much screen time as Pain. But also, Pain has so much of a deep backstory. So much. Like, it's insane. So, sorry, Kid Boo. 
we got Frieza and Obito. Obito's backstory is amazing. Everything about him really as a character is, is amazing. His reasoning, why he did what he did, awesome. But we, we got to go with Frieza. Frieza is... Frieza is, is definitely on a whole nother level of iconic. And then we got Madara and Aglogia, bro. This one's extremely hard for me because I genuinely really like Agnologia as a villain. And, on the, and if I'm being honest with you guys, the characters on the right side are just so much better than the characters on the left side. It's un freaking real. Um, because there's just so much greatness. Like, it, I'm going to be honest. If I, like, between these two, if they were on the left side, they, they would have been stained. They could have easily gone to the the semifinals both of them would have been stained and would have gone to the semifinals but it's just kind of the way of seeding which is why i kind of like bracket fights is because really any good character has a chance depending on where you're seated now they won't win it all because at the end of the day that's just like you kind of come in come into it like with your mind made up but as you go through it it's it's definitely about the journey <laughs> That sounds very sh shown in anime of me. I'm, I'm getting in my character. But anyway, saying what I was saying earlier, if both of these characters were on the left side, they would easily beat Stain. They'd be in the semis. Unfortunately, they're meeting each other now. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna go with Madara. My reason being is because Madara orchestrated almost everything, not everything. I'm not gonna give spoilers, but Madara was responsible for so much from the origin of of uh, really the hidden leaf to everything that happened throughout to the biggest of battles and wars he had a hand in. So Madara is definitely, definitely going to pass. And then we got Pain and Zeref. Uh, Zeref again, being responsible for like pretty much everything and all the villains having been created or had been in a path that crossed Zeref, not every single one, but a lot of them, it helps in that Zeref's gonna take the cake here. Plus Zeref has a great backstory. I, and then this is probably like, <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. If, if Frieza, Frieza would be in the semis against Cell too if she was on that left side. Oh my God. Spruza or Madara would be against selling the semis. No doubt in my mind. Again, this right side is just stacked. Like, it is freaking stacked, man. But with that being said, I'm going to go with the person that I, I can, like, relate to more emotionally. I consider more of a badass. And is just feared all throughout everywhere um frieza yes is feared throughout everywhere but there is a higher arc hierarchy um when it comes to the gods and that frieza kind of just bows down to everyone madara bows down to no one he went out like a bitch admittedly but everything leading to that point was amazing zarif and madara um i really don't feel like this is close because I do like Zeref and his reason for doing everything that he's done. Again, I don't want to get into spoilers, so I won't like specify, but his story is really remarkable and everything about him is really good. Uh, but Madara's, again, from an emotional level, you can understand his frustration. You can understand his pain and his reasoning for wanting to create the world um, that everyone can be happy in, just not in, uh, you know, an ideal circumstance but he's creating that to create happiness for all so that no one has to suffer so it, it's it's yeah madara's gonna go on and then the finals and I, i'm gonna be honest with you guys so we've had some insane finals up to this point in some of my previous bracket fights whether it was the previous anime one or the previous call of duty one or the nfl super bowl predictions but with that being said this one, no doubt, I think this is probably the easiest one. Uh, Madara's gonna take the cake here. 
Uh, it's, I just don't think it's really close. Uh, let me exit that out real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my face, but I'm going to... What is going on? Whoa. Okay, so yeah, I don't even need to move my face then. So as we go through this, like if... Like some of the characters that moved on wouldn't move on if they were on that right side. Because again, like... Cell would have lost, like to be honest with you guys, Cell would have lost to Frieza. Cell would have lost to Acnologia. Cell probably would have lost to Obito. Um, one for all would have made it significantly farther had he not been matched up with Acnologia. Uh, Dio would have made it much farther if he didn't get matched up with Frieza. Kid Boo, I mean, so much, so cool, but again, pain and then. Yeah, it, the right side definitely was stacked. Why, the right side went crazy. Uh, let's zoom out to show more. So here's the... Let me move my face to the middle real quick. So that you guys can see, like, the early seat, the early seatings. Okay, so, yeah. Just looking at this, as awesome as Stain is, he just doesn't hold a candle to some of these characters. Maybe I'm disrespecting some of the Full Metal characters too much because it's a great series, but they're not iconic to me. What's iconic to me about that series is Edward and and you got Ed and you got Alphonse. Okay, so Ed and Alphonse to me is what make that series not not so much the villains. And yeah, I mean, Hisoka would have lost a lot of names on here had he gone up against Zeref. I don't know. I think I might put Annie ahead of. Mm, nah, nah, I wouldn't. I'd put Hisuka. Okay, so you know what? Okay, this gorilla dude, forgot his name, but I'd put him over Hisuka. Kid Buu, I'd put over Hisuka. Dio, Frieza, Obito, Acnologia, One for All, Madara. So yeah, a lot of it too is seedings. Um, again, this left side was weak sauce compared to this right side. This right side was just full of icons, man. At least in my eyes. Maybe for you guys on the left side, like. Some of these One Piece characters, I'm sure that I'm missing. People are probably like, oh my God, but they're so cool. They do this, do that. Sorry for my voice cracking, but a lot of people would be very upset uh, about these One one uh, one Piece picks. But again, I, I never watched that show. So... Sorry. But yeah, this is my... Uh, winner right here this is my bracket it was really fun to make this and i appreciate you guys as always let me know if you have any suggestions for my next bracket fight or my next anime related video i will get on that if not i will stick to my creativity and just keep on finding videos for y'all but as always i appreciate you guys for watching this is ali been different on we've been different and we out <laughs>